Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And today's topic has to do with energy and matter, and how energy and matter work together but have very different properties. First, matter is anything that takes up space. Anything that takes up space and has mass. So anything that you can see in the universe, anything that takes up space anywhere in the cosmos, from the smallest of small to the largest of large, anything that has mass, anything that takes up space is matter. Next is energy. Energy is very much interactive with matter. Energy is what allows matter to move, allows energy to flow between the two. Because energy is not created, energy is not destroyed, it is transferred back and forth so that matter can interact with one another. So that forces can happen, so objects can move, so work can be done. So that is the interaction between matter and energy. Now energy can influence matter, but energy doesn't act like matter. So these following demonstrations show that how matter can have mass and take up space and work very closely with energy. Energy does not have mass and energy does not take up space. Take a flashlight and shine it on the scale. Notice that when the beam of light strikes the scale, the scale shows no increase in weight, which shows that energy has no mass. I wanted to clarify that with the use of a scale, a scale being a bathroom scale or a scale being a kitchen scale, they measure using weight. Weight is a product of mass times the pull of gravity. So when you are using a scale, you are still assessing mass, but you are assessing mass that is being influenced by the pull downward force of gravity. So when I say in the videos how light doesn't cause the scale to react, it still indicates when it reads zero that light has no mass. Shine a flashlight into a glass filled to the brim with water. The water does not overflow. The water does not overflow because energy takes up no space. And remember, science never stops.